G'day folks, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today we're doing the swimming review of the Samsung Galaxy Watch. So without further ado, hit the like button and the subscribe button, and let's get stuck into the video. Let's go. Now, just before we get started, make sure you put a comment down below whether you think the Galaxy Watch is worth it or not. And there is also a link in the description, one to eBay, one to Amazon, if you're interested in picking one up. And just so there's no confusion, it is an affiliate link. Now, we all know my journey with the Samsung Galaxy Watch has been a long one. I had the Galaxy Gear Fit 2 Pro, then I went from there to a Fitbit. The Fitbit was horrendous, I took it back within 48 hours. Then I went to the Galaxy Gear Sport, which was fine in every way, except for tracking swimming, and I couldn't stand it. So I took that back as well, and I ended up with the Galaxy Watch. Now, I swim at least twice a week, and I go to an Olympic-sized pool, and I do 40 laps each time. I don't do 45 laps, I don't do 30 laps. I do 40 laps each time, and it takes me roughly one hour. And I do it in a pretty slow time. But I'm consistent, and I do value the fact that I'm gonna get, or try to get, correct information from the Galaxy Watch while I'm swimming. Now, the first time I took it for a swim, I did 40 laps and it told me I'd done 50. And I was like, well, you know, that's a little bit out. Maybe it's just got to warm into it for whatever reason. So I was thinking, it's not that bad, 10 laps out. What's that, 25%, let's see how it goes next time. The next time I did swimming, it was 15 laps out. The third time I went swimming, it was 20 laps out. So this isn't cool, you know, you're talking between 20 and 40% inaccurate. And I like to value my, my swimming and my exercise and I like it to be tracked accurately. And this is the problem I found. So every third or fourth lap, the Galaxy Watch would just say, hey, you just completed a 50 meter lap in 13 seconds. And you can see here as I scroll through some of the records of my swimming that it says, breaststroke, breaststroke, and then freestyle, it'll have a short lap and then a long lap of freestyle. Well, that short lap of 13 seconds is inaccurate. For some reason, the watch has just gone, I don't know what's happening, so I'm just gonna start a new lap. And then after 13 seconds, when I actually do turn around and swim back the other way, it'll register that as another lap as well. Now, I just wanna point this out. The world record for swimming 50 meters freestyle is 21.3 seconds and it was set in 2008 by Cesar Cielo from Brazil. Now, I am not a world record holder, so why this watch would think that I break the world record 10 or 11 times every time I go swimming is beyond me. So, Cesar, I didn't break your record 13 times this morning. I didn't even come close to it. It takes me about one minute to swim 50 meters, not 13 seconds. So I've got a problem here. I don't really trust Samsung at all when it comes to swimming. Now the Galaxy Gear Fit 2 Pro tracked almost every swim perfectly, but the Galaxy Gear Sport and the Galaxy Watch have done no tracking of swimming accurately ever since day one. I've never left the pool with the Galaxy Watch and gone, beauty, it tracked it properly. So that leaves me at an odds as to say, well, is my swolf accurate? I doubt it is because it thinks I've done 50 meters in 13 seconds. Then you start to question, is the heart rate accurate? What else is inaccurate on this watch? So for the Galaxy Watch swimming, I'm gonna have to give it a huge thumbs down. I just could not recommend it to anyone. You're better off just using it as a stopwatch now that is a bit harsh, I know, but it is the reality that I have faced with this watch and Samsung have been no help. And if you look through the internet, you'll see hundreds of people have the same problem and Samsung are not responding to any of them. So Samsung, I think they've got some quality control problems and they're also in denial and they are ignoring their customers. Look, I've got to be fair and point out a couple of things that are good. I do use this watch in all swimming environments. Now I don't go water skiing with it or jet skiing or anything like that or surfing because high pressure could destroy the waterproofing on it. You don't want any high pressure. So if you go too deep in the water, it will no longer be waterproof. 
However, for just general swimming, like jumping into a water hole or going for a bit of a, a swim at the beach, a bit of a paddle, you're not gonna have any problems. And for an electronic device of this nature to be waterproof to five ATM, it's still a bit of a modern miracle, I would say. So let's not put that away from Samsung. They've done a great job of the waterproofing. And there are many reasons why the Galaxy Watch is a good watch. If you're buying it for running, click here to watch my running review. It's a different story. If you're buying it for cycling, different story. If you're buying it for hiking, different story. If you're buying it to look good and get your notifications at a glance on your watch without having to dig your phone out of your pocket, different story. In all those other areas, this is a really good product. But for swimming, chuck it in the bin. That's it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. Hit the like button and the subscribe button and I will catch you in the next video. Check out.